Hi there, Lyme Macedo. It's me from LymeMacedo.com. My name is Lyme Macedo. Today, the date is 27 March 2015. Time right now is 9.41 in the morning. Um, today, I just want to share with you a, a rather, um, I don't know, philosophical or serious topic. I, I, I don't know what, uh, what actually, how actually can I categorize this. But I was speaking to one of my friends. He's, uh, lately, he has been my close friend, um, really close friend uh, whom I respect. And, uh, you know, we were just having this conversation about savings, about um, being focused in life, about, um, you know, having a goal and, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, the guy is successful as a businessman. The guy is successful in whatever he does. And he was telling me, like, even I need to have bigger goals and I need to have uh, bigger dreams and I need to look at the bigger picture. Now, to tell you a fact, what he said was right, but... This is where I kind of like disagree. I'll give you an example. One of my friends, obviously I can't give you their names. One of my friends who was my very old best friend who I'm no longer in touch with. He, um, for 15 years of his life, he saved a uh, lot of money after he got married. 15 years. Huh? Then he invested in a property market uh, around 250,000 dirhams. That's approximately, let me give you the exact amount. Uh, uh, AD to USD. So he invested, and mind you, he's not a rich guy. One, two, three. So he invested on 16, uh, 68,000 US dollars in the property market. Uh, you know, trying to be smart and trying to be sensible. And uh, when the property market crashed, he lost all of it. In fact, uh, I spoke to one of his other friends, uh, whose name we can call him uh, Steve. I said, uh, So how much money did you lose? He said, yeah, I lost around 2 million. And then uh, I said, you must be feeling real depressed. He said, no, one of my fr friends actually lost 14 million. And he lost his entire life savings. Then uh, there are these other people, uh, like um, this girl was my first ever girlfriend, first ever serious girlfriend. She's a good girl. She's really a really good girl. Um, she never had any vices, doesn't smoke, doesn't drink. Saved all the money that she worked from almost 20 years of her life. And she invested in the stocks and commodities market. Today, uh, the I think close to 750,000, 750,000, that is uh, 204,000 US dollars is worth, uh, apparently it seems it's only worth 40% of its money and it's going down. And then uh, I lately happened to speak to one other friend of mine. Uh, he had a successful banking business. He had a lot of money. And today, he's absolutely sick, uh, he's hospitalized, his kidney has failed, and all the money that he's earned is going for his hospital bills. Last but not the least, my own mother and father, my stepfather, uh, they, for their whole life, they focused on making money. During the 80s, they had four houses in Bombay, and Bombay is like the Las Vegas, uh, is like New York of, uh, United, of India. They were so rich, but today, they're totally bankrupt. They lost all their money. So what am I trying to say? I mean, you can be a good guy. You can invest all this money. You can save all this money for a rainy day. But then one mistake, one mistake and it's all wiped out. You're gone. You're finished. So, you know, I, I keep asking myself that, um, you know, these guys who are nice guys, who are good guys, they save money. They try to be good. And yet they lose everything. Well, there are a lot of bad guys out there who enjoy life, who do a lot of crap, who do a lot of shit. But then they have a good life. So don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not trying to give myself an excuse to, um, you know, just splurge and take advantage of life and just be reckless. But what I'm trying to say is life is so bloody unpredictable. Uh, you know, people have given me advice on, Loy, have children. I have children because... When you grow old, uh, who will look after you? Now, agreed, that is a really nice piece of advice. But then, how many children actually look after their parents? In fact, I know so many cases like uh, there was this guy, uh, he has three kids, three kids. He sacrificed everything to educate them to the best of the best. And today he's dumped in an old age home. There are kids who, I know uh, this incident took place in Dubai where this parent made sure that his eldest son and eldest daughter went to United States, got themselves a citizenship and uh, they were having a good life. And they came down to Dubai and they had an accident and they died. They died with the body. This was uh, in the 
uh, late 90s, very famous uh, story. Uh, it happened with St. Michael's Church. Everyone knows this. They just died. So you can have all these great plans that uh, look after children. And, you know, even having children is not a cheap affair. It's a very bloody expensive affair. You have to spend tons of money to make sure that they get educated in the best institutes, best colleges. But there's no guarantee that after they study, they're going to be successful, that they look after you. Now, obviously, your uh, argument will be then nobody should have children. No, not everyone is meant to have children. Not everyone is meant to be a parent. In fact, if you can't afford and look after your children and give them the best, don't have children. I, I don't want to. I really don't want. So I, I find this advice kind of foolhardy. One is have kids, they'll change you. Yeah, they'll change you, but you need money to look after them. You need time. And as they grow older, the challenges in life uh, the, that life throws at you is not going to be a joke. And there's no guarantee just because you're good, your child will be good. I know so many cases where they have gone into drugs, they have gone into all these unwanted habits. And worst of all, uh, some of them don't even want to look after the parents. In fact, what assurance do you have that the kid that you are, that the lady is carrying doesn't end up being, uh, you know, handicapped or abnormal or like they call it special needs, the great term that they use. It's, 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 a, it's a curse for your whole life to have a kid where, who can't look after yourself. You know, you, whatever you might say, oh, they are innocent and all that, you need to look after them. They are going to be that liability that you've got to look after them and it destroys you every day and night. You're seeing your own face, your own uh, a, 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 a child that has come out from your body is being like just, you know, like this with the mouth open and, uh, you know, saliva drooling. They can't even clean their own poo. And I mean, uh, that's not a joke. That's really not a joke. I, I really respect, I admire, I hats off to those parents who are looking after those kids in this way. But... I, I wouldn't be able to do it. My goodness, it, it's like suicide. It's like death, you know, and you die every single day. So what I'm trying to tell you is life is so unpredictable. These rules of being nice, being good, uh, safe, and, you know, there's no assurance that you do all these things and you'll end up being happy. Uh, one, one tragedy can befall you. And yes, you can give yourself the bullshit that everything happens, happens for good. Well, that is being, having a cognitive uh, bias that everything happens, happens for good. You can say everything happens, happens for bad and dig out all the reasons to support your claim. So uh, what I feel is uh, there is no such rule in life uh, where you can guarantee anything. Nothing is predictable. Nothing is guaranteed. Um, so if you ask me, I would just say you need to have the rules of your life that keep you and make you happy. That, um, that you know for a fact that if things didn't work out, you can blame yourself. Because end of the day, Having all these savings and all this stuff and in the end, if you are on the streets, I mean, it doesn't make any sense, even having children for that matter. So Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com and who is LloydMacedo.com giving his views on one is having children and savings, both which I feel is unpredictable and uh, I mean, sometimes really crazy. Let me know what you think. Goodbye for now.